One of the biggest complaints that people have in regard to eating the nutritious, delicious, yet troublesome, invasive silver and big head Asian carp is the issue of bones. Many folks who are otherwise willing to give these fish a try at the dinner table state that the reason they won't eat them is because they have too many bones. In this video, we'll take a look at just how many bones these fish have as compared to other popular eating fish and if removing them is really that big of a deal. This video is brought to you by Eat the Enemy, the complete guidebook for catching and cooking one of the most delicious, nutritious, yet troublesome invasive species in America. Order your copies today at Amazon.com or by visiting the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3MinutesOutdoors.com. Make no mistake, the Asian carp is indeed a rather bony fish, and their bone structure is a little different from other popular freshwater species. Silver and big head Asian carp have an intricate Y-bone structure that can make processing them a challenge. Now there are ways to process these fish in a boneless fashion, which I did a recent video about. And for those who enjoy eating a wide variety of fish and seafood, the slight inconvenience of picking out or around a few bones here and there is really no big deal. So just how big of a hassle is it to remove the bones from a cooked Asian carp before you eat it? Well, you're about to find out. I thought I'd do a little experiment in which I'd cook a whole rainbow trout and then compare the bone removal process to that of taking the bones out of a cooked silver carp fillet. Now cooking whole trout is a very popular method for preparing and eating them, and as I often tell folks, removing the bones from an Asian carp fillet is no more difficult or time consuming than taking them out of a delicious rainbow trout, which is something that many have no problem with doing whatsoever. So let's see just how long it takes to do each. First, I'll be taking the bones out of a whole rainbow trout, and then I'll be taking them out of a cooked Asian carp fillet. So there you have it, my friends. As you can see, it's no more of a hassle to remove the bones from an Asian carp than from any other fish. And if I would have been using my fingers instead of a knife and fork, I would have gotten done in half the time. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3MinutesOutdoors.com.